Welcome to this tutorial on the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment Portal called MPSE. In this lesson, I will go over the different user roles that are available in the system, who assigns them, how they are assigned, and what each one can do. There are four user roles in the MPSE portal, a new provider enroller, global provider enroller, enrollment record provider enroller, and affiliations provider enroller. Here is a woman who is a new provider enroller. The new provider enroller role is assigned to providers who are enrolling with Minnesota healthcare programs for the first time. Providers who wish to enroll with MHCP will do this through MPSE. A new provider enroller will register for MPSE access by selecting the MPSE registration link located on the Minnesota Healthcare Programs Providers Policies and Procedures page. The link will take you to the registration section in the MPSE manual. On this page is the link to open the registration page in the MPSE portal. The link will take you to the registration page in MPSE where you will enter your contact information and create your temporary minutes login ID and password. Once you have completed the registration process, you will receive an email that will direct you to log into minutes to begin the enrollment process using MPSE. To begin the enrollment process in MPSE, complete and submit a new profile request. The Department of Human Services assigns the new provider enroller role to the person who makes the request to create a new profile. The new provider enroller can use the login information created during the registration to track the status of their request, but they will not be able to make additional requests until their new profile request has been approved. Once the new profile request is approved, you will receive a welcome letter with information to register for a permanent Minutes account. The person who registers the Minutes account will become your organization's primary administrator and will be given the MPSE role of Global Provider Enroller. The Global Provider Enroller is able to edit all of your organization's enrollment information within your portfolio. This includes ownership and business information. Global Provider Enrollers have access to make any type of request in the MPSE portal and are not restricted to managing one specific enrollment record. This Global Provider Enroller is also the primary administrator for her organization and can assign MPSE user roles as needed to other staff members. There's no limit to the number of staff the primary administrator can assign roles to. However, each person can only hold one user role per enrollment record within the portfolio. All assigned user roles have the ability to view the information within that portfolio, but the edits that a user can make to the account are limited by the user role. Let's examine the next role. This man is the enrollment record provider enroller for his organization. A person in this role has access to manage the information for a specific enrollment record within a portfolio. An enrollment record provider enroller is assigned one or more national provider identifiers, NPIs or unique Minnesota provider identifiers, referred to as UMPIs, to manage and only has the ability to request changes to the enrollment record with the MPIs or UMPIs that are assigned to them. Enrollment record provider enrollers can only make enrollment record requests or affiliation requests. Here is a different woman 
who is a Affiliations Provider Enroller, which is the final user role in MPSE. This role is similar to an Enrollment Record Provider Enroller in that they are both assigned one or more NPIs or UMPIs to manage, but they are restricted to managing only the affiliations within the Enrollment Record. An Affiliations Provider Enroller can only make affiliation requests. Why assign an Enrollment Record Provider Enroller or Affiliations Provider Enroller user role? If you have a large organization with multiple locations and numerous MPIs or UMPIs, assigning different people within your organization to manage requests for specific locations may make sense. These user roles also limit the types of changes the person can make to the MPSE account. Let's walk through the steps for how a role is assigned to a user. First, the primary administrator must log into their permanent minutes account they received after their new profile request was approved. Once they are logged in, they select the user administration link on the left side of the page. On the user administration page, you can search for an existing user. If you are the first person at your location to have a minutes account, there will not be any other users in the system for your organization. The top drop-down box allows you to choose your search criteria. We are searching by last name in our example. Type your search criteria in the box to the right and click the search button. Your search results will display at the bottom of the screen. If the user is not in the system, you can select the Create User button under the search fields to add a new user. Our search results show three users. To add a role type to one of the users, I click on their user ID in the first column of the search results. This opens the Modify User page. At the bottom of the Modify User page is the Minnesota Provider Screening and Enrollment section where you can select the user role. Once you have selected the role for the user, click Submit. A screen will appear to confirm the role assignment. The Minutes Primary Administrator can assign as many Global Provider Enroller, Affiliations Provider Enroller, and Enrollment Record Provider Enroller user roles as needed within an organization based on the type of access the administrator wants the user to have. There are numerous ways to customize the MPSE portal for your business needs. The Department of Human Services offers various training opportunities and you can sign up for classes by visiting the MPSE portal training page on the DHS provider website. Check the MHCP provider news and updates for new MPSE learning tutorials when they become available. Thank you.